Welcome everyone to another product feedback video. Um, in this one, I've actually gone out and bought a Western Digital TV Live Hub. Did a little bit of research and my plan was to actually have all the content from my PC uh, to be played on my large screen TV in the lounge. And unfortunately there was no real good option in terms of streaming. I did have a PS3 but didn't really support a lot of formats for wireless streaming so I thought I'd grab one of these. Now just so you know this doesn't have wireless inbuilt but you can buy a wireless dongle and connect it in and it does make it wireless. Obviously you can't really stream HD video over a uh, Wi-Fi network with great success but you can copy a file over and uh, play it from the hard drive that's inbuilt to this. This does have a one terabyte hard drive and it is worth about $2.99, something like that. You can pick it up cheaper. I went and picked it up for around $250 Australian dollars, which is not too bad uh, considering what it does and you do have that one terabyte hard drive. So we'll open it up and see what it comes with. Now you can get this thing from Western Digital that's called a live wire. And what that does is actually makes like an Ethernet connection through your uh, home network, basically, or through home power line. And what that means is that you can connect this little box into your power line, connect this into it, and then in another part of your house have a network. But I tried to contact Western Digital to get some samples set out to me for review, and you'd think you could get a hold of their marketing department. Nothing. Couldn't even uh, get a reply email or anything like that. So anyway, in the box you get this uh, bit of information. Don't need that, we'll check that out later. And what else do we have here? We have the actual device itself. We'll get to that in one second. Just to make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, so you got the remote control. Just make sure that's in focus. The, uh, the remote control in this unit is actually a bit better than the uh, standard Western Digital Live Hub. This has got a bit more control on there. Looks a little bit cheapy, but I mean, as long as it does the job, it shouldn't really matter for most people. You get a pair of batteries. You get, you get the power thing. And you also get a set of batteries, which is in the box. I can't get it out, but I'll leave that in there for now. Okay, and just so you guys know, I do have a uh, Facebook page, so I sometimes upload random things to that, that I can't just upload to my YouTube channel, so you might want to go add me on that, just look up Product Feedback on uh, Facebook, and also you can add me on Twitter, I think it's Product Feedback as well. So if you can add me, like I said, the more people who are on there, the more things I can post up, and we'll go from there. But this is the Western Digital uh, Media, what's it called? Western Digital Live Hub, and basically, it's quite a simple little box, not that large at all. Uh, I'll give you a comparison with my iPhone. Uh, maybe, you know, three iPhone sizes large. But the actual unit itself, uh, you've got around the back uh, a optical out, HDMI out, USB in, Ethernet in, uh, red, yellow, white, red, yellow, white. Uh, I think that's RCA, I always forget, and then component, I can't remember those two, I never use it anyway. But you usually want to use HDMI because this can upscale content. So if you uh, have a lower quality content, hook it up to HDMI, you will get a better picture. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it does look quite good. It will look nice sitting next to a Sony TV or whatnot. And you've got another USB port there and an on off on the front. So it is a nice looking unit. But more importantly is how it performs. So I thought I'd just put an unboxing so you guys see what you get with it. And then what I'll do is in the, in the near future, I'll do a full review after I've uh, experienced the product properly so you guys can uh, find out if it's worth the $299 for what they charge. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do upload content pretty often. And uh, if you guys uh, have something similar to this, could you guys please leave a comment letting me know what sort of methods do you guys use to stream your content across from uh, your PC or from whatever onto your large TV in the family room or in, in the lounge. Thanks guys, see you later. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.